Good afternoon, all. This is Brother John Lee of the Confessions of an Artistic Chef. Tonight, I'm making you Guatemala. Guatemala tacos. An Italian sauce, which might take me 15 to 20 minutes to make. But first, let's drop in our knife. Alright, now before you start cutting stuff finally, you always want to make sure your knives are sharp. Alright? After that, you want to take your bunch of uh, Italian, and I already washed this, so it should be good. Dry it up real well. Now, since I, I'm going to get a bigger board for this, just do the safe side. Because this board works a lot better than what I had before. Alright? Because I'm going to be finally cutting this parsley. Alright? I'm only going to use the leaves, so I'm going to cut off the leaves. If you get a little stem, it's fine. Let me put the video a little down so you can see what I'm doing. If you get a little stem, it's fine. Because just remember, you're going to be finally cutting the parsley. It's wasted. Uh, put that there. We'll get some more like that. Alright. Take that later. And there you go. The one thing about cooking, you want to make sure every, you have everything set up before you cook, right? It might take a few minutes to chop up really finely. If it's fine, because this is what it's going to become a sauce. So the finer, the better. I made this before, so I know for a fact one bunch equals one cup.
So after you have it shot, you want to put it into a mixing bowl, like so, right? Now, recipe calls for two tablespoons of garlic. I have the already mixed garlic. It's two tablespoons, big tea. So, I'm gonna take this, put it in there, squeeze it a little bit. Get more garlic, squeeze it a little more. Dump in there. Take a, it says two teaspoons. I'm gonna take two teaspoons of this. All right. Two take for the garlic was two tablespoons. Now for the Caribbean chili. You're gonna get two teaspoons of that, one, right? So you take this. I got this from um, Amazon for like eleven bucks. Still good, actually. I bought it from off about a few weeks ago. Make sure it's flat. See how I got this little flat? All right. So after you do that, you wanna oh so I actually messed up. I thought I needed one. I actually need two ones. So you have two lemons. These are the same one I use at work called Sun Kissed Lemons. Alright. Now, you want to do both lemons. You're going to zest it first. And then squeeze it. Because I did believe I bought out a, yeah, I did bring out a squeezer. Right there. I'm going to find it.
Now, I feel it's done. Now, this is what it looks like inside, just so you can see. That's what it looks like inside. So again, that's what it looks like inside. Now you got that out the way. Then you want to take the access and just squish it in there. You don't want to stain the board, so you want to clean that as soon as possible. Any elements freezer? Okay. This piece is too small for it actually. These are two big lemons. If you want if it sees falling in, you want to take those out. Said if you have lemons that fall in, that's fine. I mean, seeds that fall in, that's fine. Just pick them up, toss them out. Hey, seeds fall in sometimes, it happens, it happens in the beds all the time. We just pick them out. So it's just, there's no soaking hazard. Alright, it calls for one and a half cups of virgin oil. This is one and a half cups. I didn't have pepper shaker in there, but oh, there it is. Once that is done, you want to take one of these and just
before you eat done, you always want to take a take test of it. My salt thing broke, so I gotta do it manually. Then you're gonna shake it again. So if you do it sitting, Everything falls down. It's like a vinaigrette. But it's all natural vinaigrette. You have it. Now you have your homemade guamal sauce. Or I may need that sauce actually. It's Italian. Pictures will be in the, in the video below. Stay tuned for the next video.